Hi, this is Heidi Castle here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And this is part two on the Mantra WordPress theme. This is one of my favorite responsive WordPress uh, themes that have the slider on it. Um, here's a picture for those who missed the previous video of what it looks like. As you can see, it's got good graphics. You can change the background graphics and the footer graphics. Your social media links are very easy to add here. You've got nice tabs and drop down menus. Um, you have a slider here. You can put, I believe, up to five in here. And you can change and edit the slider effects on it. You have some boxes you can put down here. You can choose how many boxes you want to put down here. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly four. And you can change the different text and things you put in here. All in all, this is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and um, go into the, back to the dashboard and look at the settings. Here is the slides. When you need to upload the slides here, um, I found that um, the slides, you can have them link to another page on your site or elsewhere if you wish. You've got a title that you can put in there and you have text. I like this because that way you can talk about your slides that you're making and you can, um, you also have the text there for the SEO which the slider itself will not help a whole lot with. Um, but this is for the visual and it um, doesn't have to be real um, wide here because then some of the other content will show up. Um, but see there's the title right there. And here's the text that you can put in here. Now your images can be just uh, like a photograph, a long skinny photograph, or they can, um, you can make up it with graphic design. You can have some pictures and then some words or whatever you want in there together, just whatever you want for your graphic image. After you put your slider in, you have those presentation page columns. And those were the things I showed you on the front, those little four boxes. You can have zero to four. This one right here is showing four. And if you have three, it looks just as nice. So just give it a little bit more space. Uh, just however many you want there. A lot of your things don't give you that much choice. You can change the height of the image. Right now it's at 120. And let's say maybe your image is a little bit different shape or maybe you want them square then you just change that to make them whichever shape that you need them to be. And the same time, you put the images here. And I found, and it may be different as they update and make the theme better, I found it easier if I went just into the uh, media library and added the, the images there. And then I took the URL of that image and pasted them in here. And then you want your title and your text. You can put uh, use HTML and put links and things in that text if you wish. But those are your, uh, I'm sorry, either, you can do that in either up here. Maybe. I don't know if you can use um, HTML there or not. I'll have to try that. But over here in the columns, you can. And that's pretty cool. That's the presentation page. You have where you can edit the text, what font you want, what size. 14 is a good size. I wouldn't go smaller than 14. Um, a lot of these settings are just looks nice as is. You don't need to change them. But if you want to, you can. Here you can change the colors, which you may want to do if you don't want the blues and blacks. But do get colors that work well with each other. Um, one of the other things that's really cool about this, you know, besides you can edit what's around the images, is if you look over here, once you have your theme set up like you want it, Export the theme settings and save it. And then if you do something in here and you mess it up, oh, I like the way I had it before, just go back to that saved theme settings and import them right here. This is a very cool feature that I wish uh, more websites had done, would do that. And so that's very cool. And as you can see, you can change some more things along here. At the very bottom here is the custom footer text. You can put something in here versus what's in the bottom, and you can use that and change that. I'll show you what that is just as I come back in the next video.